from the million dollar London Bridge that never happened to what would have been the largest mosque in modern history. There are a lot of projects that burn millions of dollars in planning or park construction that never got to completion. In today's video, we are going through some of the biggest mega projects that never got completed. Stick around to our number one pick as it's certainly going to leave you shocked. Here are five of the biggest mega projects that were never completed. Number five, the London Bridge. There are multiple occasions when a great idea is only great in the mind of a thinker and less than feasible in reality. The Garden Bridge of England is one of those kinds of ideas. The idea was originally birthed in the mind of the actor, Joanna Lumley. At the time, she was heavily backed by Boris Johnson, who was the mayor of London at the time. The plan was to have a concrete, steel, copper nickel clad garden bridge across the Thames that would carry only pedestrians. Now, while this sounded like a pretty interesting idea, when it came to its funding, there were a couple of challenges. The original budget for completing the project was set at 185 million pounds. The authorities involved planned to raise more than 140 million pounds from private money and charitable gift aid, 60 million pounds from public money, and a whopping 30 million pounds from the Department of Transport. If all of these went as planned, they would now have more than 200 million pounds in funding for the project. By April 2017, it was confirmed in a report by Margaret Hodge that the cost of the bridge would exceed 200 million pounds. As for maintenance, after the bridge was constructed, the estimates for annual maintenance were set to range between 2 and 3.5 million pounds, and this does not include the repayment of the loan capital and the interest thereof. After much debate and back and forth between all the parties involved, the prospective owners of the bridge, Garden Bridge Trust, formally announced in August. 2017 that the project has been suspended. This failure swallowed a huge sum of 53 million pounds. About 43 million of this loss was from the public pocket. The design for the bridge cost more than 9 million pounds. So much money was spent on something that never came to life. Number 4. The Doha Shark Crossing When you get the opportunity to host the World Cup, you want to pull out every trick in the book to ensure that the world has a time of its life. After Qatar was chosen to host the 2022 World Cup, the authorities began to commission several major projects that were to either act as attractions or ease traffic. One of such mega projects was the Shark Crossing. The project packed quite a punch and would have been an amazing fit had it been completed. The plan was to construct three bridges that intersect and run over a distance of 10 kilometers. The objective was to have West Bay connect directly with the Hamad International Airport. The traffic condition in Doha was already severe, and considering that they were hosting the world, they needed to do something about the traffic, hence the shark crossing. Sadly, by 2015, there was a massive decline in the price of oil, and this put the government under extreme financial constraint. Furthermore, the country started to experience a massive decline in the number of available construction workers. Eventually, the government had to suspend all ongoing work on the site, and pour all of their available funds into more important projects. Number 3. The Hassan Tower, Morocco In 1195, when the construction of a mosque began in Rabat, Morocco, the plan was to have it feature one of the largest minarets in the world. A minaret is a tower that is built within a mosque, and this one was to be called the Hassan Tower. The entire construction of the mosque and the tower was funded by one man, Abu Yusuf Yaqub al-Mansur, the third caliph of the Al-Mahad Caliphate. The mosque was not only planned to be massive, but it was also well set on the high south bank of the Bu Regreg River. This strategic position would make the imposing structure visible to anyone for miles out. The mosque alone was designed to be 600 feet by 456 feet. By completion, the mosque would have been the largest in the western part of the Muslim world. As for the tower, had the Hassan Tower been completed, it would have been the largest minaret in the Western Muslim world right now. The minaret is currently standing incomplete at a height of about 144 feet. However, the alleged intended height for the minaret was to be 210 feet to 262 feet. Sadly, when Al-Mansur died in 1199, the construction of the mosque and the tower came to a complete halt. Visiting the site, all you will find will be a large number of unfinished walls and about 348 columns, all standing but holding nothing. Now the tower, the remains of the uncompleted mosque, and the modern mausoleum of Muhammad V have become a big part of history in Rabat. 
and a highly visited tourist complex. In 2012, the site was granted World Heritage Status by UNESCO. Number 2. The Ghost City of China Why is the Zheng Yun International Project called the Ghost City? Well, definitely not because ghosts live in the city, but because it is an entire project that no one lives in. The Zheng Yun International Project is a massive abandoned urban development project in Zhejiazhuang in the Hebei province of China. The project was supposed to have two parts. The first was in the south, where high-end residual communities would be built with low density and large-scale water features. The second area was to be in the north, where they would plant a water-themed park that would cover 426 acres. So where did this construction go wrong? The project was handled by Hai Bai Real Estate Development Group Company LTD in 2014. The group was put under investigation by the local authorities for charges of corruption. This set the company back billions of dollars in debt. By 2017, the company folded and the project was canceled. After the investigations, the project was seized. Right now, the site is mostly used as a spot for taking photos. It is believed that more than $2 billion had already been spent on the project by the time of cancellation. Number 1. The Cincinnati Subway What happens when you combine extreme cost, political instability, and the Great Depression? Well, you could also call it the Cincinnati Subway. In the early 1800s, this canal was used as a route to transport goods and people from the Great Lakes to the Ohio River from Cincinnati. However, after a while, the boat transport system phased out as people were flocking towards more automated systems. Before long, it became polluted after people turned it into a trash dumping site and sewer, and in 1877, the city abandoned the canal. Finally, in 1910, Henry Thomas Hunt, a former mayor of Cincinnati, began the plans for the new transit system that would replace the canal to build the subway system that was called the Loop. In 1918, after the end of the war, the cost of living and raw materials had gone up by a large percentage, and the budget for the completion of the Loop was now at $13 million. Against all odds, construction started in 1920 and continued for seven years. Apart from the challenge of insufficient construction materials, the city began to get drained of its funds. To make matters even worse, the construction was causing the foundation of buildings in the area to crack. Hence, an alarming number of litigations came against the subway. By 1927, the city was completely out of funds and the construction ended after 11 kilometers of the subway had been either dug or just graded. However, no tracks had been laid. As costs continued to skyrocket, City Hall grew divided on the completion of the project, and a lot of high-profile people were pushing to have the project abandoned. By 1929, when the mayor's office was hoping to get the project started again, but raising funds for the completion of the project was hampered again by the stock market crash of 1929. Over time, there have been multiple failed attempts to restart and complete the subway, or even convert it into something more significant. Reasons for the attempts always failing have never really been clear. Well, this is where we say goodbye. If you enjoyed our video, then be sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos in the future. See you next time.